pure contralto sings in the organ loft. The carpenter dresses his plank. The tongue of his foreplane whistles its wild ascending lisp. The spinning girl retreats and advances at the hum of the big wheel. The farmer stops by the bars of a Sunday and looks at the oats and rye. The lunatic is carried at last to the asylum, a confirmed case. He will never sleep anymore as he did in the cot in his mother's bedroom. The quadroon girl is sold at the stand. The drunkard nods by the barroom stove. The machinist rolls up his sleeves. The policeman travels his beat. The gatekeeper marks who pass. The bugle calls in the ballroom. The gentlemen run for their partners. The dancers bow to each other. The youth lies awake in the cedar roof garret and harks to the musical rain. The clean-haired Yankee girl works with her sewing machine or in the factory or mill. The conductor beats time for the band and all the performers follow him. The child is baptized. The convert is making the first professions. The regatta is spread on the bay. All the white sails sparkle. The bride unrumples her white dress. The opium meter reclines with rigid head and just open lips. The prostitute draggles her shawl. Her bonnet bobs in her tipsy and dimpled neck. The president holds a cabinet council. He is surrounded by the great secretaries. The crew of the fish mat pack repeated layers of halibut in the hold. The Missourian crosses the plains toting his wares and his cattle. The fair collector goes to the train. The tinners are tinning the roof. The foremans are flooring the floor. The masons are calling for murder. Seasons pursuing each other. The plower plows and the mower mows. And the winter grain falls in the ground. The city sleeps and the country sleeps. The living sleep for their time. The dead sleep for their time. The old husband sleeps by his wife. And the young husband sleeps by his wife. And such as it is to be of these, more or less, I am.